Relief efforts, big and small, continue across South Florida. One of them hoping to set sail first thing in the morning. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in Fort Lauderdale with a look. Carrie. Well, I will tell you, we've been out here for hours today, and the energy and commitment of the workers with World Central Kitchen is absolutely limitless. Late into the night, they continue to load pallet after pallet of food, water, cookware, generators, other supplies onto this massive yacht bound for the Bahamas. They had hoped to start the seven hour journey to the Bahamas sometime tonight, but it now looks like they will leave sometime tomorrow morning with meals, with food rather, for tens of thousands, if not more, meals. Workers with World Central Kitchen worked late into the night in Fort Lauderdale Wednesday, unloading and loading supplies bound for the Bahamas. They're filling a 227 foot yacht with a mountain of food to feed victims of Hurricane Dorian. We served over 10,000 meals already at, at this moment. Chef Jason Collis is the director of procurement for the group, which is headed by renowned chef Jose Andres. We're going to be cooking as well as uh, sending supplies to our kitchens on the mainland. Andre spoke to CBS this morning and said their goal is to provide 30,000 meals a day to people on the Abaco Islands and Grand Bahama Island. We are an NGO that we're trying to be um, saving as many lives as we can. Tom McManus and a local businessman who owns the yacht teamed up with World Central Kitchen to make this delivery effort possible. Our goal right now is to assist the people of the Bahamas immediately. For the grace of God, that could be us. Elsewhere in Broward, the Broward School District is partnering with a coalition of groups, including the United Way of Broward County, to gather donations for victims like food, water, and hygiene kits. The school district is also preparing for a possible influx of students from the Bahamas. The city of Miramar is accepting donations, and companies like Tropic Ocean Airways are ready to deliver food, water, tents, and tarps to Bahamians in need. Back on the yacht, the kitchen is ready for cooking, and they loaded up an all-terrain vehicle to help get food and supplies to people in hard-to-reach places in the Bahamas. One problem they still have to deal with, World Central Kitchen rented a few helicopters, but it's unknown where they can land. It's pretty devastated. And they are ready with another pallet to load onto this crane and put it on this yacht. There are a lot of relief efforts underway throughout South Florida. To get a full list of them, go to CBSMiami.com. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.